In our series on the streets where we live, we're continuing to put a spotlight on New York neighborhoods. For people living around Ditmas Park in Flatbush, Brooklyn, the early days of the pandemic actually brought them closer together. Local musicians explain how an idea to hold daily porch concerts helped form new connections. So I thought, let me just go out there and play Amazing Grace, and I'll do it every day. And I did it for two days. My, my downstairs neighbor is a bass player. He did it with me. By the third or fourth day, I had a whole bunch of people coming. My name is Roy Nathanson, and I'm a saxophone player and a teacher and a poet. I started this project that we now call the 5 p.m. Porch Concert just because I was supposed to be on tour. I guess it was like March 15th, and I was about to take a plane to California and saw that everything was canceled. It was really at that time, you could hear, uh, you know, sirens all the time. I mean, it was creepy, really creepy, and it really had the resonance of something different. I had already understood kind of the power of what music can do as a community building thing, as a political thing. <laughs> We decided not only to play Amazing Grace, but only to play one song at five o'clock exactly. So it really has a ritual quality. And the ritual quality of it really resonated with people in the neighborhood. I just heard the saxophone and, and wandered down to the next day. I brought my melodica and I walked down and just joined in and didn't really talk to anyone walked back home, and then the next day I came back and I did it again. Go ahead, Anson, get it, baby. My name is Albert Marquez. I'm not only a musician and a composer, also a public school teacher. I couldn't go to teach, there were no concerts, and I was at home with a five-year-old and a seven-year-old. And when Roy started playing here every single day, I brought my melodica and my two kids, and that was the only thing that was on our schedule for months. I always saw the 5 p.m. concerts as a collective therapy for musicians. Everybody that you see here lives in the neighborhood. This gathering was a time where we found out all about the neighborhood and the people who live here. We had no interaction otherwise. We spent all the time indoors. That was what kept us going. <laughs> Thing kept growing, we play a few tunes, and then anybody's welcome to join us and play with us outdoors for the community. And the mix of human beings is incredible. After 82 days of concerts, we felt that we wanted to use this community that we had built up of neighbors, of musicians, and do something that involved more of the community and more of the youth who live in Ditmas Park, Flatbush area. And so we decided to begin teaching lessons outdoors on porches, up and down the block. That's where I met Albert Marquez and there was a bunch of kids there playing, you know, some normal jazz standards. And they were, he was teaching them, so I just went there and started watching and Albert waved over to me and so there we did an impromptu lesson together with the students. Sometimes we forget how important this music is, how important live music is, how important the interaction with the, the people in the community. It gave us a reason to give back and during this time do shows with that in mind, with the community in mind, with the healing in mind, with the understanding that we are all one unit, thinking about the kids, thinking about teaching, thinking about what is your music doing for who and why. All of that was crystallized with this group here. 
and it's been a beautiful thing. I met Roy during the uh, deep quarantine. He came to me, he said, you know, this is a great movement and we need to get the next generation involved. Kids from various ages played uh, up and down the streets in music concerts throughout the neighborhood. We get to do this for the, the very local children who don't get to leave the neighborhood for music lessons. It presents a great opportunity for culture, music, and our neighbors to come to our businesses and help them survive the, the pandemic. My name is Renasha George. I'm 15 years old. I practice pretty much almost every day until the next weekend, and I like to show off my skills and everything that I've learned. I've never felt intimidated working with the professionals because I work at what I feel comfortable with, and I look up to them because one day I want to be just like them, a professional too. This next song is called Pandemic Avenue. In any community in the world, giving is part of getting. This country overdoes celebrity and overdoes the idea that a person does X, and that changes the world. I think things come out of situations. I was lucky that this thing poured on here in the way that it did. I do believe that the only truly universal language is music. I've been uh, traveling in a lot of countries playing music, and even if I cannot communicate with them, we can play music together. I do not know any other kind of communication where you can do that. I think that's it. That's what New York City is all about. Fantastic.